Three Exercises to Improve Mindfulness Mindfulness means knowing your own mind, knowing your own thoughts, and being in touch with and in control of your emotions. This in turn makes you less likely to feel stress and anxiety, and better able to focus when you want to get work done. The problem is that many of us lack mindfulness, as we live in a time when we are constantly being distracted by different thoughts and interruptions. We carry devices that are constantly ringing and buzzing, and everywhere we look, there are ads flashing and moving and trying to get our attention. In light of all this, what are some ways you can improve your mindfulness? 1. Meditate. The most obvious way to boost your mindfulness is to practice meditation. Specifically, mindfulness meditation. This is the practice of sitting quietly and reflecting on your own thoughts in a way that keeps you detached from their emotional content. You'll learn to not only focus better when you need to, but also to understand the contents of your own mind so that you can avoid letting them dictate how you feel at any given time. 2. Count the number of times you sit down and get up. We are so distracted throughout the day that we can struggle to keep any idea or thought in our mind for long. To demonstrate this, try this simple exercise at home. Tomorrow, try to count every single time you either sit down or stand up. This seems easy, but the fact is that you will be likely to consistently forget to do it as you'll be so distracted by other things. Work on it, though, and you'll eventually learn to introduce new thoughts and to be mindful of what's going on around you. Pro tip, if you struggle with this, try wearing a bracelet on one hand. This will remind you to be mindful each time you see it. 3. Tune in to your senses. Every now and then, it can be a powerful exercise to simply become more aware of your senses. There is so much around you that you don't see. So have a look around and see if there is anything interesting you missed. Likewise, Listen and see if there are sounds in the faint distance that you would otherwise have missed. Even be aware of your body and where it is in space. How is your weight distributed? Is there any breeze at all? Three powerful reasons you should meditate. Everyone should meditate. It is that simple. Meditation is something that can benefit everyone, and with more and more research demonstrating just how profound its effects are, this is something that is becoming increasingly difficult to ignore. In this presentation, we'll be looking at three incredibly powerful reasons that you should take up meditation and make it a part of your routine. 1. Meditation makes you smarter. Studies show that meditation can literally make you smarter and increase your score on IQ tests. There are many reasons for this but one of the most likely is that it works via increasing working memory and concentration. In other words, this can enhance your ability to focus on one thing, and that, in turn, has been linked with our ability to keep information stored while we work on other tasks. This can help you carry numbers across when you're doing math, to know where other players might be on the field while playing sports, and to keep in mind all the subjects you've covered in conversation. In brain scans, meditation has been shown to encourage greater cortical thickness, meaning that your brain literally gets heavier and thicker in the most important areas. 2. Meditation helps you control your emotions. Also highly important is the fact that meditation can make you more emotionally stable. This is demonstrated in studies, and it makes logical sense when you consider that meditation can allow you to shut out stressful thoughts and to find a place of calm. Meditation makes us significantly less stressed on a daily basis, which is incredibly good for our general health, and which can improve our performance and our ability to thrive under pressure. What's more is that if you appear to have greater control over your emotions and to be unflappable, then people will respect you more and be more likely to follow your leadership and your advice. 3. Meditation gives you discipline. But perhaps best of all is that meditation makes you more disciplined and better able to choose what you want to focus on. This means you can accomplish more, work faster, and even perform better in athletic pursuits. 
Once you unlock that self-discipline, you can take back control over your own behavior and stop being dictated to by your feelings and whims. If that's not enough reason to meditate, then I don't know what is. Three reasons knowing your purpose can change everything. Do you know what your life's purpose is? Most of us can't honestly say we do, unless we've made a concerted effort to do some soul-searching and to discover precisely what it is. And this is something that you should definitely invest time into. In this presentation, you'll discover why it's so important to know what your life's purpose is and how it can change everything for you. 1. You stop worrying about what other people think. One of the things that cause the greatest amount of stress and unhappiness for a lot of people is constantly worrying about what others think of them. We worry if we're popular, if we're cool, and if we're being judged by our friends and acquaintances. But when you know what you want from life, then you know what is important to you. And when you know what's important to you, you start to worry less about the opinions of others. After all, if your life's purpose is to make incredible music, then why would you care if someone calls you short? If your life's purpose is to spend time with your family, then who cares what anyone else thinks? This mentality can make you bulletproof, and that is an inspiring way to be. 2. You become more charismatic. Believe it or not, knowing your life's purpose makes you more charismatic and more magnetic. We've already seen how it helps with worrying less about what others think, and that will immediately make you seem cooler and more interesting. When someone isn't trying to impress us, our natural inclination is to try and impress them. Moreover, though, speaking about something that you are passionate about will make you more engaging as you start to speak and gesticulate with your entire body, and your body language becomes congruent with what you're saying. Research shows that this is what makes someone inspiring and impressive when they speak. 3. You are more likely to get what you want. Knowing your life's purpose means knowing what you want from life. And when you know what you want from life, well, then you are much more likely to get it. Without knowing your life's purpose, it is like you are setting out on a journey without knowing the destination. How can you know the best way to get there? And without that, what are the chances you'll end up somewhere you want to be? Four important new habits to start today. A lot of self-help books and videos will tell you that you should find ways to cultivate good habits and to overcome bad habits. They teach you how new habits are formed and what you can do to increase your chances of them sticking. But what they often don't tell you is precisely what habits you should actually form once you have the know-how. In this presentation, we'll take a look at some of the most useful new habits to form once you have the ability. 1. A morning routine. A morning ritual is something that nearly all the most prolific people in history share. This routine can involve anything you like, whether that is working out or just reading the morning paper. Either way, if you can take control of your mornings, this will often set you up for a productive day as well. 2. Exercise. Regular exercise will not only get you into better shape and strengthen your body and your health, but it will also improve your brain power, boost IQ, and even help you to sleep better. Absolutely everyone should be getting some sort of regular exercise, and if you are not currently, then you should seek to fix that as soon as possible. 3. Meditation. Meditation is exercise for the mind, just as running or weights are exercise for the body. I cannot stress enough how valuable this is for increasing your focus, your discipline, your IQ, your memory, and your ability to cope with stressful events. This is something that everyone should incorporate into their routine, and that can have much more profound effects than you probably expect. The good news? Starting with just 5 to 10 minutes a day is enough, and studies suggest that you will boost concentration in just 3 days of practice. Interested yet? 4. Reading the news. This is something that you don't hear about so often, 
but it's actually incredibly important. Reading the news will make you much more knowledgeable about events that matter to you. It will help you to make an informed decision when you are voting, and it will make you a more interesting and knowledgeable person to speak to. This engages you more with the world around you and puts everything you are doing regularly into context so that you better understand it. Make sure that you find time on a regular basis to check the news and to bring yourself up to date. Five hacks to get more from your brain. Your brain is a system, and the key to hacking any system is to think about the inputs. So what are the inputs of the brain? We have your own thoughts, of course, but there are also many more, such as what you eat and the chemicals that make their way into the brain as a result, what you are seeing, what you are hearing, even the temperature of your surroundings. Let's discuss five ways you can hack this system in order to get more out of it. 1. Use blue light. The brain sets our sleep-wake cycle, or circadian rhythm, based on numerous different inputs. Key among these is the light that we detect through our eyelids, and even through our skull. When the light is bright, we produce more cortisol and nitric oxide, which keeps the brain alert and awake. A simple hack, then, is to use blue light from a special lamp in order to keep yourself more switched on. 2. Or red light. Likewise, though, using light that is a little redder on the spectrum will have the opposite effect. This suggests to the brain that everything is setting in and that it's time to wind down. Thus, it begins to produce melatonin. Use red light as evening comes around, and you'll be better primed for bed and will have a deeper night's sleep, resulting in more energy the next day. 3. Take a cold shower. The brain responds similarly to temperature. If you give yourself a cold shower, this will cause a flood of neurotransmitters associated with alertness and wakefulness. This is an ideal way to give yourself a rush of energy in the morning. 4. Workout. Working out will likewise also wake up the brain and cause a flood of wakefulness hormones to be unleashed. What's more is that it will increase the flow of oxygen and nutrients to the brain by dilating blood vessels. 5. Timing. The brain will naturally peak and trough in energy throughout the day as you veer between anabolic and catabolic states. The key is to recognize that those tired phases aren't necessarily a bad thing. These actually make us more creative, and so one of the best things you can do is to time your work in such a way as to synchronize it with your brain's internal rhythms. This is even better than trying to hack it into the state you want to be in. Five things that will make life more meaningful. Searching for meaning in your life? Aren't we all? The good news, though, is that while this is quite an abstract pursuit that is hard to define, there are certain things we can do that will be almost guaranteed to give us a greater sense of purpose and meaning. Here are five changes that will make life seem more meaningful and even more valuable. 1. Relationships Your relationships are crucial because they give you someone to share all your experiences with. When we have a friend or a partner we can share our deepest thoughts with, then we are impacting on someone else, and this has a profound effect on our happiness. Aim to cultivate the existing relationships in your life so that you can truly share everything. 2. Charity Speaking of impacting on others, charity is one of the best ways to feel as though you are having a lasting and positive effect on the world around you. Studies show this triggers hormones relating to happiness and contentment, and it's something many people speak highly of. 3. Creativity Another way that life can have more meaning is if you are creating something that might outlast you. This could be a painting, a business, or even just an idea. Whatever the case, we humans are born to build, and this is a great way to achieve a certain kind of immortality. Even if your work of art never reaches the status you hope, simply working toward it will give you purpose and direction. 4. 
Challenge The body is designed to thrive under challenge and growth. The mind and the body alike are always changing and always adapting. The choice you have is whether you want them to grow better or worse. The only way you can influence this is by making sure that you constantly give yourself new things to learn, new stressors, and new adventures. Get outside your comfort zone. 5. Children No one is saying that you need to have children to have a meaningful life. However, new parents will all tell you the same thing. Having children gives them a tremendous sense of purpose, of accomplishment, and of self-worth. This is a true way for you to leave something behind that out-survives you, and for you to pass on your knowledge and your experience as well. This is when many people tell you that life finally makes sense. Worth a try, maybe? Five ways to increase your motivation. If you want to get anything done, then you need motivation to make it happen. This is the crucial fuel that will help you to become more successful, more accomplished, and happier. Without it, you will remain exactly where you are right now, without any forward momentum. The only problem is, motivation is finite, and not exactly easy to come by. If you're someone who struggles to motivate themselves, then you can't just decide to be more driven. So what do you do? Here are five ways you might be able to boost your motivation. 1. Remember why. One of the most important things you can do to increase your motivation is to remember why you need to do the thing you need to do. So, if you're trying to get some work done, remind yourself why it's important that you finish it in time. And remind yourself why your career matters to you. Visualize where you want to be in X amount of time, and visualize your route to getting there. 2. Boost your energy. Motivation takes energy. The tireder we are, the more prone we are to procrastination and putting things off. So try to sleep better, use supplements, and do what you can to be energized and ready for work. 3. Meditate. Meditation is really an exercise in discipline. This is the practice of completely focusing your mind and avoiding distracting thoughts. If you can make this a part of your routine, you'll eventually be able to focus on anything that you need to. 4. Exercise Exercise is likewise a great way to practice motivation and has been shown in studies to boost self-discipline and make us more effective and driven in other aspects of our lives, too. Best of all, exercise will strengthen your body and mind to make you more energized and better able to resist distraction and temptation. 5. Use rewards. If you usually sit down to work, then make tea and check your emails, you may find it's late in the day by the time you actually start work. Instead, then, Consider making those activities into rewards that you will only get for successfully completing your other tasks. You can make tea only after you've completed X amount of work, for instance, and you can only check your emails once you've done another bulk on top of that. This keeps you driving forward and removes distractions. Here's what 10 minutes of meditation a day does to your brain. Have you ever considered meditation? This is a simple exercise that anyone can try and that has been shown by a ton of evidence to have significant and profound health benefits. And guess what? In order to experience the benefits to their fullest, you don't need to spend hours a day sat in the lotus position. You can meditate for just 10 minutes a day or even less and still see some profound changes. Listen to the rest of this presentation and I'll share some of those profound changes with you. And trust me, they're going to blow your mind. 1. Cortical Thickness First, meditation has been shown to increase cortical thickness in the key frontal regions of the brain. In plain English, that means your brain is actually growing and getting heavier as new brain cells are created and new connections are formed between them. As you might expect, 
This then correlates with improved performance, making us smarter, boosting our memory, and helping us to focus on complex tasks. IQ scores have even been shown to improve as a result of regular meditation. 2. White cells proliferate. When you think of your brain, you probably think of gray matter. Well, the brain is also made of white matter. This tissue has the very important job of protecting the gray matter and supporting it in a range of important processes. It can help to prevent deterioration and encourage signaling to occur more quickly and stronger. In short, you become more alert and switched on. 3. Aging slows down. One of the most serious health issues that come with aging is the effect that getting older has on the brain. We all know memory is impaired as we age, and we can become more forgetful and absent-minded. Risk of conditions like Alzheimer's also increases. But studies show that the growth of new tissue continues into old age, and that this can actually help to slow down some of that deterioration. In other words, meditation is like a fountain of youth for your brain. 4. Neurochemical balance improves. Finally, meditation can also cause changes in the production of various different neurochemicals. This reduces the production of stress hormones like cortisol and increases the production of happiness hormones like serotonin. In this way, it can actually work like an antidepressant which is why it should come as no surprise that studies show meditation can be as effective as antidepressants under the right circumstances. Get more energy with these three methods. In many ways, energy management is more important than time management. We talk about time management as though we don't have any time to complete the tasks we need to complete or to pursue the things we are passionate about. But how about you reassess that belief? If you really don't have much time, then surely you haven't watched any box sets lately? Or played any games? No, the reason that you haven't started your own business, kept the house immaculately clean, and renovated the garden is that you lack energy, not time. We're so busy at work, and we're so stressed during the day, that any free time we have, we just want to spend resting and recovering. That's why finding ways to boost your energy is so important. And in this presentation, we'll look at three powerful ways you can do that. 1. The right food and supplements. There are a number of key nutrients that you can get either from your diet or from supplementation that can help to increase your energy levels and make your very cells more energy efficient. For example, Lutein has been shown in studies to make us more energetic and to choose to exercise more as a result. This works by making the cells more efficient at converting glucose into usable ATP. Then there are the similar nutrients such as CoQ10, PQQ, and L-carnitine. Or how about iron that increases the production of red blood cells? Creatine, which recycles used energy or MCT oil, which provides ketones as an alternative fuel source. 2. Exercise Of course, exercise can help to give you more energy, but if you want the best bang for your buck, then the top choice is definitely HIT, or high-intensity interval training. This will not just strengthen the heart to improve circulation, but will also improve your VO2 max, and increase the number and strength of your mitochondria, the crucial energy factories of your cells. 3. Sleep better. Of course, better sleep at night means more energy during the day. But how do you ensure you sleep better? One quick tip is to take a hot bath just before bed. Another useful strategy is to take yet another supplement called magnesium threonate. Magnesium triggers the release of inhibitory neurotransmitters, making us more drowsy and ready to relax. At the same time, it helps to soothe the muscles and release tension, all conducive to a better night's rest. How to use the 80-20 principle to get more done in all areas of your life. The 80-20 principle is a concept that was popularized by Tim Ferriss in his book The 4-Hour Workweek. 
In that book, Tim described how this simple concept could help him to work less and get paid more. Also known as Pareto's Law, the idea is that we tend to get 80% of our yield from just 20% of our seeds. This is literally true in a farming sense, where a lot of the work you put in doesn't actually pay off. But it's also true in a more metaphorical sense in business. Let's say that you're an internet marketer, and you work for 10 clients. In almost all cases, except in a few exceptions, you'll probably find that 80% of your profits come from 20% of your clients. What's more is that 80% of your stress will probably also come from 20% of your clients. But in all likelihood, those won't be the same ones. So what can you do to streamline your business to get more profit but to work less? Simple. You get rid of the 20% of your clients that are causing 80% of your problems, and thereby you will be better able to focus on the people who really matter and who deserve your effort. Better yet, get rid of 80% of your clients and focus on just the 20% that are offering you the lion's share of your profits. Now there is less work to be done, there are fewer emails to answer, and there is less that can go wrong. At the same time, though, you'll still be making nearly as much money. Suddenly, life just got a whole lot easier. You can also do the same thing in pretty much every area of your life. All you need to do is to think about where you're investing your effort and where that is paying off. You'll likely find that in all kinds of aspects of your life, there are better ways you could be focusing your energy. And by picking and choosing your battles, you'll get more yield with less work. This might mean that you think about the 20% of activities you find most fun. Maybe it means looking at the 20% of your clothes that make you look the best. You can even streamline your home by throwing out the things you don't really need. Less clutter, more results.